fellow YouTubers, Caleb Craig, Depp with Toys 1 2, here to bring you a review on the HD Gundam F91. Let's take a quick look at the box. I'm not gonna lie, as far as artwork on the boxes, man, Gundam model kits are always killing it. Here you can see a nice front view of the Gundam F91. And I in the corner. And on one side says HD Gundam F91. Nice picture. Picture on the other side. On this side, languages that I can't read, but you can see that there's a stand that is not included and it shows cool features that you can do with it. Very nice. On this side, here he is in very cool poses. 3D-ish, cool, model kit-ish looking picture. Nice effects. Alright, and a gloss white was used on here. As you can see, it's a very nice looking figure. Gun the model kit. He's included with this bazooka here. This is the actual color that it comes. I didn't paint it gray. I didn't think it looked that bad. A little bit of lining. A little sloppy though. But as you can see, it's like a rocket slash launcher bazooka. Kind of cool. Also with this very nice shield that has translucent like green. Looks very nice. I love the lime green they put in there. And included are a lot of these stickers here. As you can tell, that are black and yellow. One thing that's like really cool that he has are these cannons on the back. All you got to do is that they'll easily slide to the front. <laughs> like so. Really cool. And here you see kind of like the Strike Freedom Gundam. It looks like he's launching an attack. So I do think that's really cool and I'm glad they actually put that like little feature into the HD model kit. It does come with two different mouths but I wanted to use this one. It's a little messy in there but they have another one but I decided to go with that. You can see they have a little green that's a different type looking like a mint green for the eyes and for the actual top of the head. Pretty nice design for the feet. The red came out very nice on there. I like that. His uh, legs look pretty like another Gundam, kind of like the burning Gundam to me a little bit. But those look pretty cool. I love how they actually have vents in there. Those are nice. You know, it's like a lot of stuff is the same. Though right here in the front, the chest is different. You see the Vulcan guns. He has some for the head and some right there. That's pretty cool. The favorite part that I guess sticks out about this is the actual F91 on the shoulder pass. So those stickers came out very good. Also on the back, you get these huge thrusters here. Looks very cool. His legs have this layered feature where you can easily like push these down. Pretty cool. You can easily let them back up so they can move. Overall, it is a very nice design. What I think is going to make this one actually stick out is the translucent like shield, really. And you see here the waist is a little different. You guys, I know it looks dirty. I dropped it and I couldn't find it for a little while, but oh well. It's a pretty unique design for the shoulder pads there, as you can see. Like how they stick out with like uh, fans and slices. I think they can come out, but I thought this was a pretty cool feature for the shoulder pads. Also, you're giving these stickers that like wrap around, so they're pretty cool. Now we don't look at the details, let's look at the articulation. Alright, so let's look at some articulation. So here we have the foot, can move up and down, it can pivot there, very cool. These can bend, as you can see, there we go, twist at the thigh, they can go out, they can go forward, and the front skirt will move. The back skirt is the same as always, it doesn't really move. Took off his bazooka so we could see, we see the arm can bend that far out and twist. That looks so weird. I don't like it. Stick it back in. Stick it back in. There we go. You're normal again. But the shoulders can move very far up as you can see. So there's a lot of articulation there. Here in the waist you can see that it can move forward, side to side, and the head of course can go around, look way up, and not that far up, but way down. Way down. Not way up. Way down. So pretty cool figure. I do like it. It's a very nice design. Of course for this one have the arms a little bit spread out. Of course, we're going to put both of these through, and that's why I like how they have the shoulder pads so that you have room to have them out. This kind of laying here, like he's ready to go. Like you do not want to fight this guy. But this has been my review of the HG Gundam F91. Hope you guys enjoyed this brief review. I really like the Master Gundams. I've been doing a lot of HG, but I'm going to start to get some Master Grade Gundam kits. I just have to find them. But yeah, this has been a review by Killer Crypt Twist with Two. I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye.